Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today we are going to take a first look at Microsoft Teams for personal use. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. Now, Microsoft Teams has been available for quite some time, but it's only been available to organizations. Never before has a normal consumer user been able to take advantage. So if you have a Gmail, a Yahoo, an Outlook email account, you haven't been able to use Microsoft Teams. Today, Microsoft changed that where now anyone can sign up for Microsoft Teams. Now, what is Microsoft Teams? Well, it has all of the communication app essentials. You could chat, you could call, you could have video chats. So it probably sounds very similar to what you get with something like FaceTime, Messenger, WhatsApp, uh, and even Microsoft offers Skype. It sounds pretty similar to that and it has all those essentials. Now Microsoft Teams, where it tries to differentiate and where it tries to be even better than all these existing apps is in helping you coordinate. Uh, so let's say you have a book club or maybe a fantasy football league or maybe you're trying to organize a soccer team. Teams aims to help with that by having a shared calendar, by having shared files, by being able to share your location. All of these different capabilities are the best of breed taken from the Teams organization app and brought to the personal app. Now before we jump into it, Microsoft Teams is only available today on iOS and Android. Although Microsoft says that it's coming to web and desktop soon. Today I'm on an iPhone, so why don't we jump in and see what it looks like and see how you could use Microsoft Teams. So the first thing that I wanna show you is how you can get Microsoft Teams. And to do that, I'm gonna to go to the App Store on iPhone. If you're on an Android phone, head over to the Play Store. And what we could do is uh, let's search for Microsoft Teams. I'm simply gonna type in Microsoft Teams and it shows up as the best match or the first result. Let's click on that. And then here I see Microsoft Teams. Now, whether you use Teams for work or if you use Teams for personal uh, use, you can use the same app. So it's the exact same app. Uh, the only difference is depending on the account you log in with, you'll have slightly different functionality. Uh, in this case, I've already installed Microsoft Teams. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on open. If you haven't yet installed Microsoft Teams, you can go ahead and install. So let's go ahead, let's open the app. When I open Microsoft Teams, I'm already logged in with a personal account. If this is your first time logging in, you'll have to go through and just set up the account. But once again, you can set it up with any personal account. So whether it's Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, AOL, whatever the account happens to be, you can now use Microsoft Teams. So here's the main view. It drops me in the activity view. And this is a feed of everything that needs my attention. Uh, so let's say that maybe I'm part of a sports team and we're trying to organize a time to practice. If someone at mentions me, if someone puts a new post uh, in one of the groups that I'm in, I'll see that activity here. In this case, I don't yet have any activity showing up here, but really the activity view is what needs my attention from all the different groups that I might be part of. Going across the bottom, I also have a chat view, and this is really where the richness of Teams comes out. Uh, so here what you could do is on top of the screen, I could tap on my first group chat, and when I click on this, what I can do is I could give the group a name. Uh, so here maybe I'll call this soccer team, and I'll click on done, and then I could select individuals to be part of that group. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna show an existing group that I already have. Uh, so here I have a conversation with Alex, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead, let's click on Alex. And here what you could see is I could have a chat with a group of people or even just an individual. And here you see that we just have a short conversation here. Now, just like in any other communication tool, what I could do is in the top right hand corner, I could kick off a video chat. I could also click uh, kick off a traditional phone call. So either one of those in the top right hand corner. Now where the true richness of Teams comes in is the dashboard view. So I'm gonna click over into the dashboard and what I could see now is I could see location. So I could share locations with other people who are part of my group. Uh, down below I could also see events that are coming up for our group. So in a sense it's a shared calendar for everyone who's part of this group. So if you're trying to coordinate say a book club, you're trying to coordinate let's say a sports team practice time, uh, you could use events to do that. As I scroll down, I also have media. And so these are things like photos or files, any type of content or media that I wanna share with the group, 
I could do that from here as well. So we have a shared repository of content. Uh, and then down below, there's also something called safe. And this is similar to the OneDrive personal vault. This is a secure encrypted location where you could share, say, a password uh, with a group, or you could share kind of more confidential information that maybe you don't want other people to access. You could set up a safe amongst your group of people. You could also upload a file to the group. Uh, here I could create a shared task list. So maybe as part of your sports team, you wanna make sure someone reserves the field, you wanna make sure someone brings the orange slices, you wanna make sure someone brings uh, the water for the practice or Gatorade or whatever. Uh, you could set up your shared task list and then you also have some settings where you can mute or unmute the conversation. Uh, but this is really, in a sense, the equivalent of a team now for personal use in the form of a dashboard. I'm gonna go back to the main screen now and show you some of the other functionality. So just kind of moving across the bottom bar, there's also a calendar. So this is my personal calendar that I see here with all my events coming up. Now, if I have any events uh, set up within any of my group chats, they will also show up in this view. This calendar here is also synchronized with my Outlook calendar. So any Microsoft calendar that I'm using, I'll see these events synchronized across those calendars. So it's not just a calendar limited to Microsoft Teams. Up in the top right hand corner, I could click there if I wanna add a new event. And this is your typical uh, create a new event on your calendar. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of that. Now, when I click over on the bottom bar again, I'm gonna continue scrolling over. I also have my files view, and this is all of my files from OneDrive and any files that might've been shared uh, in all the different group conversations that I'm in. But here I could see all my files, and then I could click into any of my documents, any of my spreadsheets, any of my presentations, uh, and then I could go ahead and view those and then even edit those with the Office app. Now, across the bottom, I also have an ellipses or a dot, dot, dot uh, called the more menu. And if I click on that, here I could see a collection of all of my calls if I click on calls. Um, and here's how I could also initiate a new phone call. I could also click into the safe. And now this is a personal version of the safe that's also available to groups. This is where I could uh, store encrypted content. So whether it's passwords, say a social security number, any type of content that I wanna save in a secure way via the Teams app, I could do that with the safe. I also have access to uh, a camera and that leverages Microsoft Lens. So I could take, uh, let's say a photo of a document, I could take a photo of a whiteboard and it applies very nice filters. So it cleans up those, uh, those images that I'm taking. Uh, you find the same capabilities in other things like the Office app where the same lens capabilities are made available. Uh, and then I also have tasks and that's my tasks uh, list from within Teams. And once again, I could also have shared task lists in Teams. Now, some of the other things that I could do when I click on the hamburger menu in the top left-hand corner, what I could do there is here's where I could set my availability, I could change my profile uh, picture, I could set my notifications on or off, so all your typical settings. And then down below, I also see accounts and orgs. Uh, so let's say that you use Microsoft Teams for work and then you also want a personal account to maybe plan a vacation with your family. Uh, what you could do is you could very easily jump back and forth between these different accounts in Microsoft Teams. Uh, so they make it easy to jump uh, between accounts. All right, well that was a quick overview of how you could use Microsoft Teams for personal use. If you found this video helpful and you learned something new, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next time. Bye.